When you think about your personal collection of memories, such as family photos, holiday photos, school records, first grade art projects, do you know where everything is? If you needed to find a specific item, would you be able to locate it easily? This video will talk about organizing all of your materials so that they can be easily found in the future. You can then watch the two following videos to learn how to digitize and or properly store the materials so that they are safe for the future. Two things before we get started. One, as you're organizing all of these materials, try to treat everything as one item as you're organizing. If you don't, I guarantee you will fall into a hole of reminiscing and looking at all the photos and then find yourself three hours later with nothing done. So try to remain strong right now and then once everything is organized you can easily reminisce. The second thing is try not to eat or drink as you're organizing. You are about to put all of these items, these personal memories, in one place. And in an instant, your coffee could spill and all of those could be ruined. It's very tragic, but it's avoidable. The first thing that we'll do is gather everything you want to organize. Don't worry about putting it in any sort of order yet. You just want to put it all in one place so that you don't have to go anywhere once you get started. The next step is to clump materials into broad categories. These broad categories can be by material type, family items versus individual people's items, by holidays, whatever system you feel like will work for you. Every collection is going to be different and require different clumping and then refining processes. As you are clumping items together, it is good at this time if you find anything that is folded or slightly crumpled to flatten that out now. When items are folded and then left that way for a long time, it becomes very hard to then unfold them when you want and it could actually damage the paper. You should also take out any paper clips, staples, and any tape adhesives that are on your materials because they will actually cause the paper to erode faster. Here I've laid out everything that I am going to organize. This is a variety of items from my late grandfather that I would like to preserve for the future. For my organization process, I'm going to first clump by the type of material. So I will put all of the calendars in one pile, I'll put any papers in another pile, and keep photos in a separate. And this is what my piles look like after the initial clumping process. I have gone through to make sure that no pages have been folded or crumpled and have made sure that everything lies flat. Now for the refining process, I am personally choosing to organize by the year. Once you have finished clumping your materials into broad categories, if you need to take a break, now would be the time to do it. That way, when you come back, you have an organizational system in mind and you are fresh and ready for the refinement process. Once you have everything in rough categories, then you'll want to start the refining process. You can go through these clumps and organize them in a way that makes sense for your collection. This could be by year, by the holiday, whatever you feel is going to work best. And this is what the piles of items look like now that they have been refined. These piles go from earliest to latest year and now they are ready to be stored in folders and boxes for long-term storage. The refining process can take as long or as short as you want. The level of organization is completely up to you and the materials that you have. So once you feel that you can easily find the materials in the future, then you're done. Once you're done, you can place them into folders and boxes. Acid-free folders and boxes are preferable because they'll help create an environment to help those materials last as long as possible. But if you don't have that, don't worry. Just use whatever you have on hand. This is what it looks like now that I have finished the refinement process. I have organized these calendars by year, going from earliest to latest. I have put all of the papers into one folder, making sure that anything that was folded is now lying flat, and making sure that none of the pages stick out of the edge of the folder. The photos have a larger frame on them 
and I don't want the files to get too big while they are being stored. So I've decided to put my photos in separate file folders. Now that the refinement process is over, I can label all of the file folders so that when they are in the box, I can easily find them. Now I am ready to store my files for the long term. I have all of the files in order by year and then the calendars also in order by year. I have made sure that my box is large enough to fit the height of all of my items. And while it is quite larger, that just means I have a lot more space to put in my personal collection of family memories. If these were all of the items that I were to be storing, I would instead of choosing to lie them upright, I would lie them flat so that they don't have a chance of falling and getting bent. Make sure all of the materials are lying flat and are not folded. And there you have it. All of your personal memories are now organized. If you want to digitize them to have digital copies, or if you want to learn how to properly store these materials for the future, you can continue on to these next videos. If you have any questions about the organization process, please fill out the Google form in the description box below and we'll get you an answer as soon as possible.